those districts that have a comprehensive approach to evaluating an ed tech tool have more of a success rate of really determining if that product is effective. So for example, they don't just rely on standardized test scores from students and the metrics or diagnostics that come from the product, but they also look at interviewing teachers, classroom observations, and student feedback, often informal, but they look at those other variables as mechanisms for determining, is this product meeting the objectives that we set out to meet with this pilot? The other part of that is that they really then they really think about you know what is it that we need to do what is it that we need to do and learn from this pilot because oftentimes the standardized test scores don't come out until after the school year and they may have needed to make that decision so by looking at it comprehensively they do a better job so for example we had one district where they had actually designed some internal qualitative measures as well as standardized uh, assessments that they used to complement what was coming from the school district as well as what was coming from the product to determine if it was in fact effective at meeting their goals.